Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna learn all about Sally Ride. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Ready to learn all about Sally Ride? Well then, let's start the video. Sally Ride was the first American woman to travel to outer space. Sally Kristen Ride was born on May 26, 1951 in Encino, Encino, California. Encino. When she was just a child, Sally Ride loved to play with a chemistry kit and her telescope. Her mother volunteered as a counselor at a prison for women, and her father, Dale, was a professor of political science. Sally Ride had one sibling, a sister named Karen. And as a child, Sally Ride was a bright student who loved science and math. Hey, guess what? Sally Ride is considered the tennis player who turned into a physicist. That's right, Cadence. In fact, during her junior year, she competed in national tournaments and was considered one of the best in the country. But after months of all-day practices, she came to the conclusion that a life of tennis wasn't for her. She then decided to enroll at Stanford University in California. She graduated from Stanford University with a bachelor's degree in physics and English in 1973 and a master's degree in 1975. In 1977, Sally responded to a newspaper ad that NASA was looking for astronauts and engineers. Over 8,000 people applied, but only 25 people were hired. Sally was one of them. After completing her PhD in the year 1978, Sally Ride began her training at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas to become an astronaut. In 1979, Sally became qualified to be an astronaut on the space shuttle. And hey, guess what? Sally Ride was not only the first American woman to fly in space, she was also the youngest. She was only 32 years old. Sally Ride was selected to be on the STS-7 mission aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger on June 18, 1983. Her responsibility on the Challenger was to work on the robotic arm that would launch a satellite into orbit. Sally Ride's second spaceflight was in 1984, also aboard the Challenger, where she served as a mission specialist. Sally Ride's third flight was canceled due to the Challenger's accident on January 28, 1986. Sally Ride retired as an astronaut on August 15, 1987. In 1989, Sally Ride became a professor of physics at the University of California in San Diego and became a director of the California Space Institute. In 2001, she started her own company called Sally Ride Science. Sally Ride created the program to help women and girls who wanted to study science and mathematics. Sally Ride co-founded NASA's EarthCam project, where middle school students are allowed to take pictures of the Earth from outer space. Sally Ride was also an author who wrote several children's books about outer space. And due to her contributions to science and space exploration, Sally has been given numerous awards and honors. In 2003, Sally Ride became one of the notable names in NASA's Astronaut Hall of Fame. She also received the National Women's Hall of Fame. Sally died on July 23, 2012 at the age of 61 in her home in San Diego after fighting a battle with pancreatic cancer. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Sally Ride. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.